it's Christine Horn. Welcome to another episode of Sunday Stories. Listen, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead, just go ahead and hit it. <laughs> you're probably trying to figure out why does she have on a thick crochet uh, scarf on indoors in the heat? Whew, it is getting hot. Well, it's because today I'm gonna quickly share with you five interesting facts about me. <laughs> that you may or may not know. And one of them is, I like to crochet. So here's the deal. I typically just crochet when I'm on set or when I'm uh, traveling somewhere. It's a nice activity. I have to stay busy. So I like to um, sometimes do it on the airplane. Um, and then I usually like do a little bit like before takeoff and then I usually fall asleep or go start watching movies or doing work, but I at least bring it with me, but especially on set because um, there's always so much time to <laughs> be in the trailer or sitting backstage, back, not backstage, but on the side, you know, on, on the lot waiting for them to switch the lights around, but you can't go back to your trailer, like all that stuff. So in between learning lines or um, reading, my dog, Prince is uh, grooming himself. My dog is looking himself. So yeah, crochet. So here's the thing about my crocheting though. It's not like good, it's good enough. My whole thing is just to stay busy. This is the longest one that I've made, but as you can see, like the pattern, it's all kind of janky. But listen, I am proud of it and it keeps me warm. And so I have uh, others that I'm trying, I'm only, at the scarf level. I'm a very beginner. <laughs> uh, interesting facts. Uh, number, I have to write them down. Number two. Oh, I don't eat cheese. I know you're like, what? I don't eat cheese. I'm not lactose intolerant. I don't like cheese. I don't even like fake cheese. Like when I was a vegan for five years, I didn't, people were like, I would go to get pizza and ask for pizza without cheese, which I still do to this day. I already know you're calling me names, so stop. Yes, it's still pizza without cheese to me. <laughs> People say, that's just flatbread, like whatever you wanna call it. I love pizza without cheese. My favorite toppings these days are um, Kalamata uh, olives, green and red bell peppers, garlic, oregano, maybe some chicken if I'm in the mood, or mushrooms, uh, like portobello mushrooms red tomato sauce and a nice crust and that's it. <laughs> like I love, here's what's the fun, fun facts. I loved cheese when I was growing up. I mean, I could not get enough of it. I would go to my grandma's house and say, grandma, can I have a cheese sandwich? Now we're talking back in the day, cardboard box cheese, you know what I'm saying? Thick slices. And I would just eat cheese all the time. I couldn't get enough of it. And one day, I was around eight years old, I just stopped liking it. I no longer like the smell, the taste, nothing. It's so weird. I cannot explain it to you other than my body was changing. Just like I never used to like black bean. I never used to like any kind of bean. And one day in 2007, I never forget because I was in Denver. No, 2006, Denver 2006. I remember, just FYI, if you didn't see my episode last week about when I joined The Lion King, so much of my years between 2006 and 2011, I remembered. I remember a lot of th events and songs by city. Cause I'm like, oh, I was in Denver for two months. No, remember Hawaii? You know, so I, I'll be like, Denver. So that's what that means. But one day in Denver, all of a sudden, I was like, I want black beans. I never had a black bean before. That was a little bonus one. <laughs> So yeah, people are like, you lactose? No, I just don't want no cheese. Keep the cheese away from me. Um, another fun fact about me is I can't ride a bike, y'all. I've owned bikes, but I cannot ride one. It's on my bucket list. Yeah, I know you still judge me. It, it's okay. It's all right. I said I was gonna learn this year and then the quarantine happened because I wanted someone to teach me. I talked about getting a tricycle and one of my friends made fun of me. So. <laughs> Anywho, I plan on I plan on it happening this year, but that's just a fact as of right now. Um, another fun fact about me is that I am named after my mom's doctor who helped 
basically save her life. Um, if you don't know, I've talked about it on a previous episode of Sunday Stories, but my mom, Valerie, she has had lupus and she was like 12, 13 years old. And one of her doctors as an adult, her name is Christine Lawrence, and was so pivotal in, in keeping my mom healthy uh, back in the day. And so my name is Christine Lauren. Lauren is my middle name. So I was named after that beautiful woman who kept my mom safe so that I could be here. And last thing if, in my five fun facts is, um, I'm about to sum it out. Like I wrote it down, but I was like, do I want to give that one? Cause there's so many things you don't know about me. Um, another one is since we, I will go back to the food. I think that's fun. I hate eggs, cannot stand eggs at all. Yes. I know eggs are in things and I've gone back and forth between eating things. A lot of the baked goods I like to eat usually are, are dairy free. Um, but I'm not like, Oh my God, I can't have that anymore. I was like that when I was vegan. I was like, what's in that? but I'm not so much that way now, but I never liked eggs by themselves. When I was to the point of when I was a kid, like, a, like under, under six, like young, cause my brain is going back to a certain apartment we lived in in New York right now. Um, but I used to play like the throw up game. What I, that's what I call it. My mom would try to make me eat eggs. Like a parent does. They're just like, eat this. The parent will keep making you say, will keep saying eat this until they realize, oh, this kid just doesn't like it for real. So my mom would give me the eggs all kind of ways. And I would just be like, like nothing's in my mouth, mind you. Like just the smell of it. This is how you knew I was going to be an actor. Like it started young. <laughs> I was like, lady, if you don't understand, I don't want these eggs. So to this day, I cannot, I can't stand eggs. I, and I, I really hate the smell of like hard boiled eggs. If my husband's making them or when I've had roommates in the past and they want to make egg salad or tuna salad with eggs, like anything where you got a hard boil, I think hard boils are the worst because they just smell like a bunch of farts. <laughs> and I'm just like, Whoa. so. Ta -da! <laughs> That's five, five fun facts about Christine Horn that you did not know. So, um, yeah, uh, I know we all have our things. What's a fun fact about you that maybe not too many people know, or if they know, like all your friends know, that's that weird thing that you do. Put it in the comments below. I would love to just read them so I don't feel so alone, but Hey, we are who we are and it is what it is. So anywho, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to come back next week and be sure to subscribe to this channel. So you never miss a video. Bye.